so sorry guys, parang medyo magulo yung pag-organize ko ng thoughts ngayon kasi ayun nga, sobrang pagod sa klase. Going back, yung sa tips naman, um, first of all, of course, before the initial interview, since naka-work from home nga tayo, ano, you check your equipment if it's really functioning. Check the microphone, check the camera, kasi minsan may mga topak eh, di ba? Tapos, I suggest na i-download nyo yung free trial ng Crisp. Kasi nga may noise cancellation siya. As much as possible, you go to your room or quiet place sa kasulok-sulukan ng bahay nyo. Kasi, importante yon. Ayan, para, di ba? Tapos, decent professional. Hindi naman required kay Akatsuk na sobrang formal ka. Kasi, naiilang din yung mga student na parang terror ka or strict. Yung tabang polo, 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 polo shirt, polo shirt, then, yung tabang ayos na. Ayun. And, and, kasi kapag may student, hindi mo pwede sabihin yung nationality mo. To, to make it sure, um, maiwasin natin yung discrimination. Ayun. So, you can see that you are from America, you are from outer space, pero huwag niyo sasabihin na sa Philippines kayo. Okay? And during the training, make sure that kabisado niyo yung tools ng platform. Kasi ako, during the, when I had the de final demo before, <laughs> my student kept on saying, Teacher, I want my pencil. I want my pen. Hindi ko alam kung asan yung pen doon. May, meron doon kasi yung parang crown na blue-green. Ayan, siguro yung tutorial din ako kung paano gamitin yung mga platforms. Then, of course, prepare your resume. During the interview, during the interview, wag mo nang i-discuss yung mga nasa resume mo. Tell about some tell something about yourself yourself wag ka magkwento ng life ng relatives mo or someone ano yung mga interesting about you you love you love singing and maybe when you teach when you're inside the class you can use music you can use your passion in drawing like that okay Tapos, eto, importante, and sa kanila ko natutunan to, be ahead of time. Kasi sa amin, kapag nag-clock in ka, nag-clock in, or before the class, dapat 30 minutes before the class, nag-clock in ka na. Para make, to make sure na yung teacher is nasa harap na talaga ng computer. Para mag-prepare sa kanyang class, first class. And uh, speed test. It's really important. Baka mamaya, eh, yung, yung internet may biglang mawala during the interview. Tapos, eto na. Mm, dun na tayo sa mga possible questions during the um, interview. Okay? Let's get it on. Tatanong, Kung or marami nag-request, ano daw ba yung mga tips on how to pass the initial interview? Or the mismong process, yung application process ni Akad Sok. First of all, kasi you should be confident. Dapat confident ka. Ayun. Huwag mong pauunahin yung kaba. Yung pagka-tense. Kasi mahalata ka talaga ng student mo. And during the final demo kasi, naka-turn off yung camera ni student. And ang um, student talaga, usually, during the final demo, is adult. Adult. And yung, yung gagamitin yung lesson is pang-adult, of course. Ayun. Then... 
ang mga possible questions during the interview is of course yun nga, something about yourself practice your pronunciation your grammar your basic grammar lang ayun hindi niyo naman nga like what i've said earlier you don't need to be perfectionist hindi niyo kailangan ng perfect na grammar at perfect na pronunciation kasi here in Akatsuk, there there is always room for improvement kaya no need to worry about it but of course, you need to be aware also. Be mindful. Okay, baka naman talagang yung mga English mo eh, I am talagang ganun. <laughs> talagang ano eh. Siyempre, you need to practice then in the in the, in front of the mirror. You can re record your voice. It depends on you on how are you going to build your self-esteem. Ika nga. Then, eto mga tanong. Kasi, during the inter interview, laging ito yung highlight. Yung mga situational questions. Paano yung, yun nga, ito yung talagang matitips ko sa inyo. Mm, kasi sa mga talagang teaching na yung profession, magiging madali to para sa inyo. Pero dun sa mga wala pa experiences, hindi ko naman sinasabing magiging mahirap sa inyo. Pero, just based on experiences and talagang think of your own way. Paano ba, paano ba yun bilang teacher? First, first question, paano mo i-introduce yung isang word if zero beginner? First, of course, as a teacher, you can show a picture. You can show, for example, cat. Diba? Cat. You can do the ganyan ganyan yung mga facial expressions or yung mga gestures you can do the sound yan usually yung mga bata lalo na pag zero beginner they will they will speak chinese yan yung pinaka last option mo is you're going to type yung chinese translation so ayun yung mga possible mong isagot but it's Depends on you pa rin. Yung mga techniques mo or method, yung strategies mo kung paano mo masasolve yun. Then, paano, paano? If, if yung student is gusto lang maglaro na maglaro and he or she is not willing to listen, anong gagawin mo? Yan. You can, pwede mo ilabas dun yung mga talent mo. Kasi ako, kapag hindi nakikinig yung student ko, kinakantahan ko na <laughs> Or mag-play kami, kahit rock, paper, scissors, depende sa trip niya. Basagan lang din kayo ng trip. Ayan, ba For example, you love me, yung student, napapansin mo, parang ang hilig niya sa ano eh, sa mga animals, ba Pakita mo na mga mask ng animals. Ewan ko lang kung di yan upo sa harap mo, ba? Ganyan. Dapat, kukunin mo din yung ano ng bata. Hanapin mo yung pinahanan niya. Para lang yung ano eh, sa love life. <laughs> Ayan. Then, paano if your student is brat? Yung feeling, alam ang lahat. Ano ang gagawin mo doon? Yung, for example, Yes, teacher, I know, I know. Yes, yes, teacher, I know, I know. I have that. I had that student before, and one um, thing is, ang magagawa mo din is you can approach him or her or give him or her ad, uh, an advice. Oh, my dear, uh, you know, if you talk to the to the to the other to the other people, especially to foreign people, it's it sounds an etiquette, an etiquette or um, disrespectful if you say, I know, I know, I know, I know. Ganyan. So, medyo, uh, ano yung more yung student tang? Oh, I see. Kasi sometimes naman yung mga student, may student ako, puro wait, wait a moment, wait a moment. Hindi niya naman intention na mag-disrespect, pero, Siguro yun na ituro sa kanya na ganito yung sasabihin para 
if you want to say ganyan ganyan ayun paano kapag yung student mo is umiiyak what are you going to do kalma lang <laughs> yun ang pinakamasasabi ko kalma lang meron naman doon sa table yung customer assistance na if the student kapag hindi mo na talaga kaya i-handle yung student you can call the customer assistance i mean the button pwede mo pindutin tapos pwede mo rin i-call your attention ng parents or mag-type ka oh student this is recorded ganyan ganyan or Bulay mo lang yung student and kalma lang. You can play a song, you can flash a cartoon character, and ayun. It depends on you pa din, di ba? Pero kapag adult, tas feeling matalino, pwede mo rin gawin yung, oh, you know, it sounds disrespectful na ganyan-ganyan. Ayun. Then, tapos, ano pa ba? How are you going to correct the student? There are two types of correcting your student. It's either direct or indirect. When you say direct, of course, doon sa mismong na-commit niya yung mistakes, paano mo siya sasabi, pwede mo sabihin na, Oh, that's a good try. Well, let me help you how to say it in a better way. Like that. If you want indirect, ginagawa ko to madalas sa mga adult ko eh. I'll type it, kung ano mga incorrect, dun sa chat box or either sa notepad ko. Then, yung indirect kasi, you, you will mention it at the end of the class. Ayun. Ayun. So, ang pinaka-importante naman kay Akadsok is, is, paano magiging effective yung class mo? Paano magiging lively? Are you a perky teacher? Ano, ano ka ba? Ano ka ba bilang teacher? Okay? And then, of course, yung pinaka-importante, why should we hire you? Why should I hire you? Oo, HR na ako. <laughs> ayun, why should I hire you? Ayan, so, ayan, habang pinapanood nyo to, mag- mag-ano muna kayo, mag-internalize kayo, what are you going to say? Why should we hire you? Of course, some of the, or the sample answers that there is, you have the passion for teaching. You love kids. You want to try um, different type, different types of, or you want to try different way or different ways to teach foreign students or other nationalities. You are patient. And there are lots of reasons. Maraming rason kung bakit ano, hinahire ka bilang teacher. Basta ang heart mo lang is talagang gusto mo magturo. Yeah. Kasi you will surpass all the handling all the difficult learners uh, finishing the lesson for 25 minutes if you really love what you're doing yeah. so yun lang yung mga tips ko yung mga masasabi ko lang if you have more questions okay about the salary about the platforms about the lesson maybe i will upload upload it on my next videos. Ayun. If you have questions or meron kayong gustong sagutin ko sa mga susunod na videos, you can comment down below. Ayun lang! And, sige. Sige na nga. <laughs> Ang salary rate sa office space is from 92. <laughs> Basta, malalaman nyo na lang. Goodbye mo na ngayon. Pero, don't po don't forget to give like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Okay? So, wait lang. Baka may nakalimutan pa ako eh. So far, yun na naman. And God bless sa mga mag apply And sa referral link, sabihin nyo lang yung pangalan ko. <laughs> Char. Ayan. So, sa referral link, I'll put there below 
or sa comment section yung you fill out a new form and your referral link. Okay, kasi para aware sila na, oh, okay, teacher train na to. Diba? Sagot ko yun. <laughs> Ayan, tapos mag-follow up na lang ako. Ah, okay, yan yung ano, yun yung ano. Tapos, ayun. So, kita kids and I hope maging ka-work ko kayo sa office base, Alabang office ng Akad sa See you and take care always. Goodbye. This is Teacher Trina. Woo!